Good morning and welcome to your 30 minute morning Pilates workout. Today we are stretching and strengthening our entire body. So when you're ready, come into an upright seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you. Take a deep inhale here and on your next exhale, round your spine and come all the way down to the ground. Release your head back. Walk your feet in a little bit. And then just take a moment here to connect with your breath. Feel the mat beneath you. And take a few deep in and exhales. Becoming fully present. Allow your body to fully relax. Relax your face muscles and prepare yourself for the upcoming workout. Take one more breath and then open your eyes. Start to press your lower back into the mat. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And on your next exhale, lower them back down next to your body. Let's do two more. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms overhead. And exhale, lower. One more. Reach your arms up. Lengthen all the way through your fingertips. And exhale, lower down. You can either repeat this movement or take the leg with you. Extend the left leg. Inhale, reach your arms and the left leg up. Exhale, flex your left toes. Lower the leg down and take the arms with you. And we have four more here. Inhale, reach up. Lengthen through your fingertips and your toes. And exhale, lower moving very gently and with control and as always you can find your own rhythm here and the last one lower the leg down lower the arms down and let's switch sides extend the right leg take a deep inhale reach your arms overhead lift your right toes up Flex your right toes, lower the leg and the arms down. We have four more here. You can feel that your core is already working. Press the lower back into the mat to engage your lower abdominals even more and support and protect your spine. Moving with your breath, inhale, reach up and exhale lower down with control beautiful and then release the right foot back reach your arms up fingertips pointing to the ceiling inhale lift your shoulder blades off the mat exhale press them down inhale reach your fingertips up as far as you can and exhale press your shoulder blades down let's do two more inhale reach Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Release your hands down. Take a deep inhale to prepare. And on your next exhale, tuck your tailbone under and slowly lift your hips all the way up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, come into your bridge. And then slowly lower yourself back down. Find your own rhythm here. You can go as fast or as slow as you can. Press into your heels to lift your hips up and gently move them back down. Let's do two more. And on your last one, keep your hips lifted, engage your glutes, press into your heels, keep your hips lifted 
and then inhale reach your arms overhead just as we did before and exhale lower them down without lowering the hips let's do a few more inhale reach up overhead and exhale lower down beautiful now reach your arms up fingertips pointing to the ceiling come onto your tippy toes and let's add some pulses pulsing the hips up squeeze your glutes at the top and keep the engagement when you lower the hips down a little bit a few more two one and now keep your hips lifted release your arms down Come on down onto your heels, keep your hips lifted. Squeeze your glutes a little bit harder. And now walk the left foot out, the right foot. Walk the left foot back in and the right foot. One more time, walk the left foot out, the right. Bring the left foot back in and then the right. Now switch sides, walk the right foot out and back in and one more and come back into your bridge position and hold for a few more seconds lift your hips up a little bit higher keep breathing and then gently lower the hips down to the ground let's take a gentle twist extend your arms to the side inhale exhale allow your knees and legs to fall to the right come back to center and switch sides just releasing any tension in your back in your hips and your legs and then come back to center now take a deep inhale to prepare exhale reach your arms forward lift your shoulder blades off the mat let's continue with heel touches exhale touching the left heel inhale center exhale touch the right heel with the right hand and repeat keep your core engaged press the lower back into the mat as always and think about drawing your navel to the spine this is a wonderful way to work your side abs, your obliques. And now let's pick up the pace. Exhale out fully through the mouth when you reach to your heels. And five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. And add some crunch pulses. Pulsing up. Just tiny little movements you should already feel the burn in your core and then hold and release your head back take a moment here to connect with your breath again then bring your legs up into a tabletop position the lower back is pressing into the ground inhale here on your next exhale extend the left leg forward inhale center exhale extend the right leg lengthen all the way through your toes and then tap the ground with both toes and come back up repeat extend the left leg bring it back in and the right back into tabletop and tap the ground with your toes try to not lift your lower back away from the mat if you still feel that your lower back is moving away from the mat if you try to touch the ground with your toes you can lower your feet down a little bit and don't have to go all the way down to the ground now continue in your own pace moving with your breath
and let's do one more round. Send the left leg and the right. And tap both toes down. Beautiful. And then hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rest here, a little break. Take a deep inhale to prepare and exhale, lift the shoulder blades off the mat, hold onto your left shin and extend the right leg. Single leg switch, exhale, exhale, inhale, switch, exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Keep your core engaged the entire time, your shoulder blades are off the mat and your chin is slightly tucked in. Imagine you can fit the fist between your chest and your chin. Beautiful. Let's do two more here. And one. And then release the head back. Hold onto your right shin. Extend your right arm to the side. Let's take a quick spinal twist. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground here. And gently come back to center. And switch sides, hug the left knee in. Then release the left arm to the side and bring the left knee up and over to the right. Find your reclined spinal twist, take a few deep breaths here. And then gently come back to center, hug both knees in, hold onto the back of your thighs. And roll up. Let's continue with rolling like a ball. Try to find your balance when you come all the way up. Engage your core. And then hold at the very top. Find your boat pose. Lengthen through your spine. And then release your feet down. Come into an upright seated position with your legs slightly bent in front of you. And then inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Two more, inhale, reach up, open. And exhale, round. One more, inhale. And exhale, round. Come back up to center, your spine is straight. Hold onto the outside of your left foot, extend your leg as far as you can and reach the other arm back. Look to your left hand. You can also keep your leg bent if you need to. Keep your shoulders relaxed, breathe deeply and think about twisting from the belly button. And gently release. Hold onto the outside of your right foot with your left hand. Extend your right leg as far as you can. And reach the right arm back. Look to your right hand. Breathing deeply. Twisting poses are always a wonderful way to stimulate your digestive system and speed up your metabolism. And then release, bring your feet down. And let's come on down onto your side. Lay down on your right side, support your head with your right hand. Keep your bottom leg bent, extend your top leg. And then inhale, swoop the leg forward, point your toes. Exhale, flex the toes and move the leg back. Point, move forward on your inhale. Legs, move the leg back on your exhale. Keep the leg at hip height. Move with your breath. Really good. Let's do three more. And two. 
last one and bring the leg in line with your body and start to draw big circles with the top leg five circles into one direction moving slowly and mindfully and then switch direction of the circle try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible only your top leg is moving and come back to center tap the top knee to the bottom knee and extend the leg up inhale tap exhale extend keep the engagement in your glutes the entire time and lengthen all the way through your top toes now let's do one more now let's add a few pulses move the top leg up and down tiny movements and just breathe normally here lower the leg down and hip height move it forward rotate your toes down add another few pulses tap the ground with your toes this is a great way to work your glutes let's do three more two and last one and then bring the leg back in massage your glutes if you need to and let's turn onto your belly take some time here to adjust if you need to inhale come into your baby cobra shoulder blades together exhale lower down inhale baby cobra elbows are next to your body and exhale lower one more inhale lift the chest and exhale lower down now reach your arms forward to the edges of your mat open your legs to the edges of your mat take a deep inhale and lift your arms and legs up engage your back exhale move your arms back close your legs inhale open your legs reach your arms forward and exhale lower and repeat inhale lift exhale close your legs move your arms back inhale forward exhale lower you can do this in your own pace moving with your breath keep your neck neutral gaze down to the ground and engage your back muscles as well as your glutes and upper back when you lift your legs and your arms and now just keep holding reach all the way through your fingertips forward and through your toes back three two one and release everything down you can make a pillow with your hands and forearms turn your head to one side just take a moment here to tune in with yourself notice how you feel becoming fully present and then come back to center and let's switch sides come on down onto your left side your bottom knee is bent your top leg is extended now inhale swoop the leg forward point your toes exhale flex and move it back inhale point Move it forward and exhale, flex and back. Keep your right leg at hip height. Try to only move your right leg. Keep the rest of your body still and stable. And let's do two more. 
last one back to center point your toes and start to draw big circles with your top leg five circles into one direction and then switch directions back to center inhale tap the bottom knee exhale extend the leg inhale tap exhale extend we have six more of these move with your breath as always find synchronicity in your movement and your breath and last one adding 10 strong pulses with your top leg and then lower the leg back down at hip height move it forward rotate your toes down tap the ground 10 times and we have another six five four three two last one and then move it back massage your glutes if you want to then come all the way up into a tabletop position hands underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips and let's continue with our swooping cat stretch rounding through the spine move your hips back to your heels and then bring your elbows down move the chest forward and press yourself back up with your triceps round your spine move your hips back forearms down move forward and come all the way back up let's do a few more you can find your own rhythm Just breathe naturally here and keep your face muscles relaxed. Beautiful. Let's do one more. And come back up into your tabletop. Now extend the left leg back one straight line with your body exhale crunch knee to chest inhale extend exhale crunch rounding through the spine engage your core and extend keep pressing the mat away from you with your hands your neck is neutral keep your gaze down Engage your core as much as you can when you move your knee into your chest. And we have two more. Last one. Now keep the left leg lifted. Tuck your right toes under. And now send your hips up, come into your three-legged dog. And move the left knee into your chest. Inhale, slowly come back down, keep your left leg lifted and exhale, three-legged dog, move the left knee in. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. This might take a while to get this movement, but if done correctly, this is a great way to work your entire body. And let's do one more. And lower down. And from here come into your Pilates push-up keep the left leg lifted we have three more lower the chest down press yourself back up keep your elbows next to your body beautiful one more and gently come back up release the left knee down 
and switch sides. Lift and extend the right leg, inhale here. Exhale, move the right knee in, crunch, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, move the knee to your chest, round the spine and repeat. And we have three more. And two. Last one. Reach your right leg back, tuck the left toes under. And now send your hips up into your three-legged dog, extend the left leg and move the right knee to your chest and lower down with control. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Move the knee in as far as you can. And lower down. Beautiful. One more. Now let's do four Pilates push-ups. This time, keep the right leg lifted. Two more. You can do it. Last one. And then release the right knee down and send your hips back to your heels. Take a quick child's pose. Connecting to your breath, to your body. And when you're ready, come back up, find your high plank and let's finish this workout with some fun salsa planks. First, make sure to keep your core engaged, press into your hands. Draw the navel up to your spine and start to move the left foot to the side and then the right foot to the other side. Keep pressing the mat away from you, keep your core engaged. Move the right foot to the right and the left to the left and repeat. Beautiful. And two more, one, come back to center and then send your hips up into your downward facing dog. Find length in your spine, relax your head down. Feel free to walk out your dog by bending one knee at a time. Just taking a few more minutes here to stretch it out. back into your downward facing dog on your next inhale reach your right leg all the way up and exhale find your pigeon pose on the right side move your right hip back and the left hip forward so they're in one straight line inhale lift and open your chest and exhale can stay on your hands or come all the way down onto your forearms. Just feeling a nice stretch through your right glute muscle, releasing any tension in that area. Now let's take one more deep breath. When you're ready, find your way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale here and lift the left leg up. And exhale, come into your pigeon pose on the other side. Take some time here to adjust. Your hips are in one straight line. Stay up on your hands or come on down onto your forearms and take a few deep breaths.
and in your own time release the pose swing the back leg forward and find a comfortable seated position in the center of your mat take a deep inhale here and exhale side bend to the right inhale center exhale to the left come back to your center and let's end this workout with a quick mindfulness practice just close your eyes bring your awareness to your breath become aware and notice how you feel and let's prepare yourself for a wonderful day ahead you know it's going to be a really good day Take one more deep breath in and exhale, open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this morning Pilates workout. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. I hope to see you again very soon.